Hi everyone, how you doing? So it's been a while since I've done a video. So um, we are in January now. Woohoo! Goodbye 2020. Hello 2021. Let's pray that this is a good one. So today I am making the new Luscious Lemon Curd. Um, this is a new product from the new catalog that just launched on January 12th. Um, we have a lot of yummy, yummy, yummy things in there. Um, for instance, uh, this is the catalog. Um, we have Thai coconut soup. I've heard a lot of great things about it. Haven't tried it yet, but I will. Um, I'm always up for trying new things. The crispy, crunchy lettuce wrap. I've also heard great things about this. I'm going to be making that as well. Um, classic meatloaf. I'm actually going to be making this today. So I have... Um, to go do a cooking class. Um, there are a few far and in between. If you're comfortable with doing an in-home cooking class, I would surely love to have one with you. Um, but if you would love to have just a regular cooking class on Facebook and have your own cooking party to earn great benefits, um, I provide um, a virtual cooking class as well. Uh, so this is the classic meatloaf. Super excited to try this. Um, enchilada is amazing. It tastes so super good. I, I can't wait to make this again. Um, it's just, it's definitely one of her family favorites. And then the rotisserie chicken. So I did not make it, um, with a traditional, like, big whole chicken. I just took chicken breasts and I cut them up and then I, uh, put them in the steamer for a while and I put this on top and kind of coated everything. Then, um, put it in for about five minutes, stirred it up, and then a little bit of, like, about five minutes more. And then after I was done with that, I actually finished it off on the stove because there was so much juice from cooking it, uh, steaming it in the microwave, that I wanted to, um, to not waste all that seasoning. So I just kind of, um... Uh, cooked it up on t the stove top in my wok and it almost made it like a sauce so it it steamed out a lot of the extra um, liquid that was left over and my kids absolutely loved it my oldest daughter called it chicken heaven <laughs> so this is a really good one um, if, if you had um, earned it with a host exclusive I believe it was in November um, there was the round steamer and then you got this with it as well So the round steamer is in the new catalog and it will be available towards the end of this month I believe or um, Sometime earlier in February. I can't quite remember exactly, but it is coming and it will be available So and that one does not come with a rack though if you prefer a steamer with a rack in it You will want to go with the um, <clears throat> the square multi-purpose steamer so this is good. Let's see, and I want to make the luscious lemon curd today. And I had bought these um, little shells. They're just, uh, you just put the curd when it's made up in here. And um, I'll be, oops, I'll be pausing the video and continuing in a little while because um, part of the directions on here is um, you do, in a four cup microwave bowl, which I have my four cup microwavable um, Epicure prep bowl right here. Um, you do three eggs and mix one cup of, or a half a cup of water, which I've already got that here. And then you whisk until well combined. Microwave uncovered on high for two minutes until thickened. Then whisk halfway through at the end and uh, if required, cook for additional 30 seconds. Um, they do that because everybody's microwave's different. So, and then um, 30 second intervals, whisking after each. And then you, if you choose, you can whisk in a tablespoon of butter and then uh, cover and refrigerate for at least an hour or until cooled. So, and it will, you can fill pre-baked cooled tarts, shells, and cooled prepared, uh, with the cooled prepared lemon curd. So when it's prepared, then I'll just scoop it in the little cups and we'll have a yummy, yummy dessert. So I've heard great things about this and I am super excited to try it. So, and this is, I just got this from 
if you are local to the Wassa area or if you have one, um, I just got these at Pick and Save. I'm sure that you can find little ones elsewhere. Oh, they're so cute. They're so little. Kind of coming out of the tray a little bit, but they're so cute. Let's see. They are so tiny. So that'd be like the perfect size, just a little, little treat. All right. And I am just going to apparently <laughs> whisk it on myself. I'm just gonna whisk this up here. And it says, um, until well combined. So, let's say the water definitely makes it a little soupier. You don't see this right now, but my little companion kitty is sitting down at my feet. He loves to watch me cook, just hoping to get something. You would not believe the stuff that this cat will eat. Say so won't touch tuna, but he'll get a he'll he'll touch like a, a cereal puff or something like that if the kids leave it on the floor. All right, so this is pretty well combined. Uh, I'm just gonna set this over here, and then I will show you guys. Oh, I didn't show you the creamy garlic hummus yet. So da, 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 whisk until well combined. Microwave uncovered for two minutes. two minutes we're gonna leave that in there and then this is the creamy garlic hummus this stuff is really good I actually um, made it up just the other day and it tastes amazing um, all I had to do was I took chickpeas I drained it out and then I used a little bit on the back here it says uh, drain and reserve liquid from the can um, Rinse the chickpeas, place them in a food processor with a half a cup of the reserved liquid. And then three tablespoons of the dip mix, and you can uh, add lemon juice and blend until uh, smooth, about one to two minutes. That's it, and it's really tasty. Um, when we first opened it up and we smelled it, it smells like um, taco seasoning. But uh, there is cumin in here, so that would explain the smell, the taco smell. But it's really really yummy so um, I'm super excited about this catalog though because we have some awesome um, we have some awesome collections in here so it's also like the the mealtime mealtime solved so it's like the winter warm-up better than takeout collection um, you get nourish broth which is our chicken broth, but now it's called nourish broth. It's the same thing. Um, Greek dressing mix, you get urban garlic mix, um, creamy garlic hummus dip, you get the rosemary garlic seasoning, luscious lemon curd mix, the classic meatloaf seasoning, crispy and crunchy lettuce wrap seasoning, rotisserie seasoning, the Thai coconut soup seasoning, you get the wintry mushroom soup seasoning. So that's a new one too. I did not receive that one yet. It's on the way. I can't wait till it comes. And then um, you also get digital recipe cards. So I know like our meal um, uh, solution kits and stuff like that came with recipe cards, but now it's all digital. So you'll have to um, look online for all your digital recipes, but at least you'll know exactly where they are. Um, Let's see, super suppers, so you'll get the rotisserie seasoning, Thai coconut soup seasoning, wintry mushroom seasoning, digital recipe on gu uh, guide to, uh, I did not whisk this at the end here, my bad. Well, you know what? I just made scrambled eggs. Yep. I just made scrambled eggs. Oh my goodness. Well, there you have it, folks. I screwed up.
because I did not add this and I should have added that. Oh, darn it. I just made scrambled eggs. <laughs> oh, well, take two. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to leave this in here so you can see that. So I messed up a little bit here, but let's see. Guess what? I have another bowl. And I am going to start that over. I'll clean that up a little later. And grab myself some eggs. And this time I'm not going to forget to add the mix with it instead of just reading the directions. Oh my goodness. I'm set that over there. So I don't want to retake this. <laughs> Oh, you know, you prepare to do stuff like this, and I'm going to leave it live. <laughs> Let's see, I am by any means no professional. So, all right. I'm going to grab a half a cup of water here. And this time... I am going to remember to add in the dip mix. All right. And maybe that'll help with the wateriness. Yes, Joe, it would help. <laughs> Leave that right here. I'm gonna rinse this off. All right. Take two. Great learning lesson here. We are not perfect. Nobody is perfect. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. It's still pretty liquidy though. But this time, I'm going to remember to stir this halfway through. Oops, a little splashy splash. All right, now this time we are going So now I'm going to do this for two minutes and I'm going to follow the directions this time instead of talking, distracting myself. Um, two minutes until thickens, whisking halfway through and at the end. If required, cook for additional 30 second intervals, whisking after each. So, makes perfect sense. All right, almost there. You know, it always takes longer for those 30 seconds when you're waiting for them to be done. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this again. And three, two, one, open. All right. Okay, this is much better. <laughs> One more minute, and we'll see what it's like at the end. <laughs> There's my book. Let's 
Okay, this time I don't have to watch it as closely. What else do we got going on in here? So, and the walk will be coming back too, soon. So I'm excited about that as well. Um, Aztec Soup is in there again. Yay! Um, You got Luscious Cupcake Collection here, which is those um, those cupcake, make cupcakes in them. Um, you can do a microwave or the oven. Um, and then it comes with the chocolate fudge, chocolatey temptation cupcakes, and then that uh, Luscious Lemon Curd. Let's see. All right. Let's see where we're at. Not sure if we're going to have to... Uh, it's starting to thicken. I may have to do the 30 second intervals. It's not quite thickened enough yet. But at least we're on the right, tra right track this time. Mm, I can smell the lemon. It smells delicious. Alright, 30 seconds. Mm. We'll get there. 30 seconds seems like forever when you're waiting. Let's see, buy a mere share meal. They still have that going on. I like that. So with every mac and cheese you buy, we donate a meal to a family in need. Everyone deserves good food every day. So we've teamed up with the Food Bank Canada and Feeding America to help relieve and prevent hunger across Canada and the U.S. Help us reach our goal by donating 1 million meals in 2021. Awesome. So every time you buy mac and cheese, and that is a staple in our house, so we're definitely going to be contributing to that. All right. Grab this again. Oops, starting to thicken. Oh, yeah. I can see why you need to whisk this halfway through every time because uh, I'm pretty sure you don't want this to turn into eggs. <laughs> like scrambled eggs. Because um, this is previously without the mix. Scrambled eggs? I meant scrambled eggs. Mm hmm. But now, this is definitely looking like a custard, and I love custard. I don't know about you, but when, when I go and get a donut, I want custard-filled donuts. So this might be dangerous for me. Yeah, that might be dangerous for me. So um, I'll have to watch myself. <laughs> I mean, plain donuts are good, but I just, I love a custard filled donut. It's just really yummy. Let's see, three weeks of dinner also includes our new stuff. So in the three weeks of dinner, for $48.50, you get the General Tao's. You also get the rotisserie chicken the enchilada, you get pad thai, creamy pesto, um, sweet and sour, taco, red curry, you get the beef and broccoli, pulled pork, butter chicken, crispy and crunchy lettuce wrap, Alfredo Donair, which is gyros, and then the buffalo wings. So that is, that's a really great one to have because you're going to have a whole um, variety of stuff to try. That was a little warm. So this is pretty thick now. So I think I am ready to stop the video for now. And we will continue this once it has chilled for an hour. So thank you for watching. So I'm back. So it turned out pretty good. So here it is. I already dished some out. 
stirred it. This is perfect. Definitely a nice custard. So, and here is the end result. And I have not tried it yet, so here it goes. Mmm. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Definitely recommended. So tasty. Very, very nice and lemony. Um, it's not like cold, cold. So I like things a little bit extra chilled. So I think I would fill these up and definitely put them back into the refrigerator probably for at least another half hour. It wouldn't take as much as long because they're just little individual um tiny servings so but that's kind of how i like my um pudding as well i like to mix it up and then i leave it at the top part of my refrigerator way in the back where it gets really super cold and it tastes so good when it's super chilled it's one of my favorites when i want chocolate so highly recommend the the luscious lemon curd it is so good definitely gonna be eating this and you could add a little bit of whipped topping or something like that on top of it um there is a recipe to make like a cream cheese like a, a lemon cream cheese mm, that sounds delicious too so thank you for watching and um i hope you guys have a great day bye